Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan front brakes, front brake pad, front brake rotor, front brake caliper replacement. You can see the discoloration from getting too hot. Caliper piston must have got a little hot, getting a little brittle. A little bit of brake pad left here. And there's really nothing left on the outer pad. So stuck a screwdriver in here a little bit and pried. I already did it, so you can, that's why it's a little easier. You can get in here with a screwdriver somehow and just pry like this. Usually collapse the piston, and it seemed to collapse fine. And you want to check the slides. And they're good. But we're still going to replace it because uh, evidence of overheating. So somehow something caught at some point. So I got like a 13 millimeter bolt here. And, uh, if you need to hold it, maybe a 15 millimeter here. On the bottom and on the top. And then be a 21 millimeter bolt here and there. You can use a large C-clamp or a large channel locks. I'm kind of a believer if you can't collapse the piston with a channel lock, so there's a good chance you should just replace the caliper. So if you need to collapse it a little bit more, you can use one of these two tools. Of course, they do make special tools for collapsing pistons as well. The rotor should slide off. If it doesn't, you can simply tap it with a hammer. It should just come off. Get your rotor machine door replaced and we'll just slide the new one on. So I got a new caliper because there's a problem with the caliper. So we got a new caliper, got some new fittings to replace on the bracket. If you're just replacing yours, you probably can just pop the old ones out and put these new ones in. <laughs> Snap into place like that.
And then I'll just continue with snapping those in. I did separate the new caliper from the caliper mounting bracket. Got that installed, 150 foot-pounds for these bolts here. Caliper on, you see the nice new rotor on. High performance vented rotors. It seems like uh, we've had experience in the hill country here. The Dodge Caravan rotors cannot handle the hills. They just warp, so got some custom high performance. L for left, one on the right for right, of course. So we're gonna put those uh, pieces, snap the rest in, and we'll put our caliper pads on. Rubber uh, plastic fitting in here. I took it out. I'm going to mount this last the uh, banjo bolt and fluid. And as I mentioned, uh, caliper bolt sizes do change. These aftermarket calipers came with a different size bolt. They're probably 9 16 I'm using a 14 millimeter, but just be aware. The setup's the same, regardless if the bolts are larger or smaller. 26 foot-pounds for these bolts. If you are in fact replacing calipers, you might want to break that bolt loose at least okay. while it's mounted up. And then you can kind of tighten it back, tighten it back down. I'll be using an impact gun to take it off. <clears throat> Got a new bolt, different size head, so the size doesn't matter, but, <laughs> but there's my new uh, banjo bolt and washers. Banjo bolts, 18 foot pounds. Just tighten it down. We'll do some bleeding here and uh, we'll use some brake clean to make sure it's all clean. And I'm just going to step on the brake pedal, probably start it up maybe, and also step on the brake pedal. Just check for leaks here. You know, if it's leaking, you can always try and tighten it up some more. Use an 11 millimeter on the bleeder screw. Again, yours could be different, not important. Try and let the gravity bleed a little bit. Once we have fluid coming out of here, we can tighten it back down for now. 
we will uh, use an assistant and have someone step on the brakes to apply pressure and we can open this back up and finish bleeding it. And if uh, after a minute or so nothing comes out, you can just go right to that step. No need to wait, but I like to gravity bleed it if I can. Just a quick little shot here. This is the caliper for the other tire side, and you do not actually have to take it apart to do what you need to do. Snap it in the new pieces if you're doing that. Just do that right here, and then slide in the new pads into their holes, and you should be just fine. If you want to go that route, you can. Top off the fluid as necessary. You can maybe suck some out if you need to when you're collapsing the pistons so it doesn't overflow. Someone's inside holding the brake pedal down. After pumping it a few times, we can open it up and uh, let some blur brake fluid out and we can tighten it back up. Like that, we'll do it again. Pump it! Do that a couple, get, couple times so we'll get straight fluid. Hold it. Do the same for the other side, and then we'll top off the brake fluid. It's running. We got someone stepping on the brakes. We're just checking for any obvious leaks. Then, before we send it on its way. And it's looking dry, so we call this good. Good luck on your 2013, <laughs> 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan.